Are you listening? Damn. Uh. Yeah. Hey guys. So, I don't even know what to say besides hey guys. I don't really like that intro. Hey my loves. Because I like, that's what I call people. In like, in a normal interaction, like if I see you face to face. Hey my love. Yeah. I think I'm gonna go with that one instead. I know this is not soda. It's just like Powerade, I think it's called. Yeah. I'm gonna be doing a couple of haul videos. Um, one is from the one I'm doing now. It's gonna be from Ulta. I got, I didn't get a whole lot. A couple of things. Things. Yeah. <laughs> um, I didn't get a whole lot. I just got a couple of things. If you watched my last vlog, the vlog whether I was in labor or whatever then you know that I didn't really plan on getting a lot but I didn't get but I got things that I wasn't planning on getting I want to say before I got like really into like my whole spirituality I wasn't really so much into like that's when I really kind of fell off on doing makeup as much I would say about a year and a half ago that's when I really like haven't been wearing makeup that's I'm not really don't wear makeup right now I haven't really been wearing makeup as much I've been going all natural and not even my eyebrows like I, I barely do my eyebrows but once in a while I I have to have my makeup <laughs> so first I am I got is and if you're wondering I'm like okay, trying to make sure I'm in focus first time I got was the real techniques brush cleansing palette I didn't open anything in this because I specifically wanted to do a haul like I was determined to do a haul I'm guilty I rarely, I'm not going to say I never, I rarely ever wash my brushes, which is, I know. I mean, me personally, I usually use like baby soap, baby shampoo to wash my brushes, but I wanted to go with something a little different this time. So it comes with uh, two sample size of the brush cleanser gel and then this little uh, palette thing that has like the little lumps in it for the different brushes that you want to cleanse. And I like the fact that it has this in the back so that it makes it, so I'm not like, so it's like more sturdy when I brush, when I use the brushes. And then here's the brush cleaner for the uh, Real Techniques, the cleansing palette part that goes, these go together. And then I'm gonna say last August, I lost my Anastasia Beverly Hills Bra um, eyebrow brush, the angle brush that has the two sides. I mean, everybody pretty much seen if you're if you're into beauty, you pretty much seen this all over YouTube. But it just has the double in its size, the one with the brush and the one with the angle side. I'm obsessed with this. Yes, it's eighteen dollars. Yes, it's expensive, and I lost it. Go with the um the the brush from the Anastasia. I also got the Anastasia Dip Brow Pomade in Ebony. I actually have the dark brown. My son got to it and it dried out. And but I to me I think it's like too reddish to me. So I got the Ebony and even though that one pretty much like it's not completely dried out, but even though I um I still have that one, I can like do like the ombre effect and like mix them. So that once one side is like lighter and then the rest can be darker. I wanted to find, I was looking for a mascara that would uh, curl, lengthen, volumize, and separate my lashes. I seen Still Glamorous use one from Lancome, but the Ulta that I'm at, they don't carry a lot of the products because there's a mall across the street, which I think is dumb because I went to that mall today and it sucks. So. Um, she suggested the the Benefit Their Real Mascara. So I got this one. She said if I didn't like it, I can just bring it back. But I like the way her lashes look. So, and my lashes aren't bad. They're just, I'm not wearing any mascara. But they're like, they're, they're not curly enough. And I like a lot of volume. I like a lot of curl in my lashes. And I like them to be like separated and like, I don't know how to explain it like not spidery but like like boom like 
as if I'm wearing like false lashes and it looked like she was wearing false lashes to me and she suggested this one so I'm gonna give this a try and see if I like it I'm not sure but it was expensive too just know that it better work for the price that I paid mm, don't look that bad Let's see if you guys can see it just trying to focus on my face I don't want to see my face but I don't know if you can see how the bristles are on here and I'm not a big fan of like wet wet mascaras I like mine's a little on the drier side then um, the one girl her eyeliner was like perfect and it was nice I'm not a big thick eyeliner person I like mine's to be kind of like thin I already have Asian eyes or like almond shaped eyes so I need like a, a eyeliner that's like like the tip doesn't need to be like extremely thick if that makes sense and so she suggested this one and the one that I have I believe is um, from LA girl and this is the tip and it's pretty fine I like how fine it is I got the infallible pro matte foundation I've heard pretty good things about this and I didn't know what shade to grab I'm usually between class I'm usually classic tan but with like the weather and stuff like that like with the seasons and stuff like that I usually go like become darker or lighter so I just got classic tan and caramel beige and I'm not sure if they'll m mix right I'm not I can't tell and of course my battery dies right now I'm currently using um, Maybelline fit me and CoverGirl Ready Set Glow, I think it's called. Or I could be wrong. But I use those two right now. And I like them. Um, they're not too bad. Um, the problem is, is that, if you don't know, I deal with zeoborg dermatitis. Um, I deal with it all over my face, eyebrows, down my teeth, um, forehead, on my nose, um, a little bit underneath my hair. Um, my chin around my mouth and then i also have it on my hairline and my scalp and the back of my neck finding a foundation that will combat um oily skin plus um acne prone skin and allergy um sensitive skin because i have very sensitive skin um it's difficult and when you have zeoborg dermatitis you also get the dry patches all over your face especially if your face is not moisturized enough so i usually stick with the pro matte like with matte foundations but I also like a full coverage if you can't tell um, I usually have like hyperpigmentation all over my face because of the zeoborg dermatitis regardless if I pick or not it just comes and I just have to deal with it I usually like using a um, moisturizer with SPF to help minimize it and I also like Dr. Palmer's skin success lightning cream I know some people might talk ish about it especially my um, afro um, queens you might have a little opinion about it I'm not doing it to lighten my skin um, I'm just doing it I'm using it just to get rid of the, the hyperpigmentation in my face um, I've used it since I was in high school I've never had an issue with it um, I've never had an issue where it would lighten like extremely light in my skin it's more of like a gradual you have to use it for a very long time in order to see results in using it so it's I guess like the, the ingredient that they have is very mild I've been hearing so much stuff about NYX's soft matte lipsticks, so I wanted to give this a try, and this is in in Bloomington, I think that's what it's called. I don't know. I might be saying it wrong. Bloomington. I don't know if it's focusing, but yeah. I'm a more of a pinky mauve type of person. I, I like purples, pinks. Um, I'm not really big into like the whole other colors. I'm not really into nudes. My friend, she's been trying to get me into nudes, and I'm not really a big fan of them. Um, they look nice on her, but for me, they just I just think they wash me out because I'm so light. Maybe I just need to find, like, a, maybe a brown nude. I don't know. I just don't personally like them. But I saw this, and I wanted to give it a try. I'm not... Oh, I thought it was different, but... I thought it was, like, a liquid, but it's actually a actual lipstick. Things, there we go. The lighting is sucks in my in this room. And I have all the lights on. <laughs> but that's what it looks like. I don't really 
care for it. I should have got the other one, but the rest is all skincare products. Um, I have the Mario Padescu skincare facial spray with alloy herbs and rose oil. I swear by this. I've been using this for years and I probably would never go back or go to anything else besides this. I use this to refresh my face. I use this to sometimes set my face. If I feel like my face is too dry when I wear a matte foundation. Um, this is um, awesome. Um, midday, if I have to, um, if I feel like my skin, like my foundation is starting to break up and I don't have a way to like touch it up or I don't want to put on more makeup to cake it up, I use this. This is like the best thing invented ever. Um, I have the Body Shop Tea Tree um, Skin Clearing Mattifying Toner. Um, I tried this out. My friend, she got the kit and she didn't like it. She only wanted it for the one thing and she didn't like anything else that was in it. So she gave me the whole kit for free and I fell in love with the toner. Not so much the cleanser. I didn't really like the cleanser so much. I didn't really like the lotion that it came with. But I did like this one and the, um, the tea tree oil that comes with it. But the problem is, is that um, you have to dilute it because it's extremely concentrated. And me personally, I don't want to repurchase it again because I don't see the benefit of it. And I usually like using essential oils anyways. But since I'm pregnant, I can't use so many essential oils because it's not really good for me, um, for the baby. So right now I'm just sticking to what I know is mild and safe for while I'm pregnant. I got Bore Pora Unclogging Scrub. Um, with salicylic acid and those little beads in it I used this way back um, since high school before they changed the packaging like when I looked at it I was like uh, did they change our packaging um, I wanted to get it again because I love how this feels on my face um, I don't have a scrub um, I use my clear sonic once in a blue moon but I'm not really a fan of it I don't really see the hype of a clear sonic um, only time I like using it is when I wear, when I do wear a foundation and when I do have like a full face makeup on because then it can really get like deep into it. But when I'm not wearing a foundation and it's just my regular skincare products, then I'd just rather use this. So, and this never failed me. And then I also got the Vino Ultra Calming, uh, makeup removing wipes. I love these. I was using the Neutrogena Lavender, I think, or was it the Purple Pack? But I realized that when I, I thought it was like my uh, Revlon Color Stay Foundation, I was breaking me out real bad. Like I was getting hives out of it. But I think it was also the combination of both of them. Um, I don't use the Revlon Color Stay because I thought that's what it was that was causing me to have a larger reaction. But I also think it was the Neutrogena. I think the Neutrogena was like too harsh on my skin. So since I switched to the Aveeno Ultra Calming line, I've fell in love with it because it really helps with my the work dermatitis because it has the oatmeal the free review um the calming free review chamomile it has like everything in it that soothes your face and helps with the in inflammation in your skin i decided to see if they had the wipes and they do have made wipes so i figured i got some more because i like using this to remove my makeup like the first layer then i like to go in and wash it with the clear sonic and then that's it like and then do the rest of the stuff that I have up here. Last but not least, um, something new. I've been hearing so much about uh, Marcellar cleansing water. And I do have my lazy days. Like, you know, I'm, it's just not me. I'm a mom of four kids and I'm expecting. So um, I have my days where sometimes I just don't have the time or the energy or just anything to remove my makeup. Sometimes it just happens. So... I've been hearing so much about it and I wanted to give it a try and I've never tried Yes Yes Two products, but I seen that they actually carried one for ultra sensitive and allergy prone skin. And the girl at the Ulta, she said that she likes using it in combination with the makeup wipe because then it really gets everything off. So for days that I don't feel like doing my Clarisonic, I don't feel like scrubbing and washing and all that, I can just use the combination of the two and hopefully it like doesn't completely strip my face. But it also like gets rid of all the makeup. So I wanted to give this a try and see if I like it. Um, the thing I love about Ulta is the fact that everything that you buy, if you don't like it, whether if you already opened it or not, you can still take it back within 60 days as long as you have your receipt. I can be a, a product junkie, hoarder, 
whatever you want to call it. Um, that's pretty much it that I got from Ulta. It's a small little haul, but hey, I wanted to do it real quick so that you guys can see what a working mom and a crazy, hectic life, what type of things that I buy. And I'm probably going to do a what's in my caddy type of video instead of what's in my bag kind of video because I don't really carry a bag any around anymore. But like it's like a makeup caddy. So um, if you like these type of videos, thumbs them up, th um, like this video so I can create more because I... Um, I shop once in a while for makeup, but it's not often, but yeah, before my camera dies, I'll let you guys go. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.